What is going on guys, Spider Dude here and welcome back to another video. Today guys we are going to be taking a look at another 2018 Safari LTD figure for the hashtag Howie Safari campaign. So let's have our co-host Marvin bring it out. Thank you Marvin. Alrighty so today guys we are going to be taking a look at this. It is the 2018 Safari LTD. Hyena Don Gigas. We are finishing up our 2018 reviews for Safari LTD on the channel. This is the second to last figure we are reviewing from the 2018 range. We have reviewed all of the rest of them, so make sure to check out the Safari LTD playlist on the channel if there's a particular figure from uh, 2018 that you'd like to see. So without further ado guys, let's dive straight into the review. Before we take a closer look at the figure, here are a few quick facts about Hyena Don itself. Hyena Don Gigas means giant hyena tooth. It was a prehistoric mammal from the Cenozoic era of what is now Europe, Asia, and North America. Hyena Don Gigas is the largest of currently 23 known species of Hyena Don, growing up to about 9 feet long. It was the top predator of its day, with massive jaws that sported immensely powerful biting muscles. Although its name means hyena tooth, hyena don is actually not related to the modern day hyena, other than being a carnivorous mammal. So without further ado guys, let's start taking a closer look at this awesome prehistoric predator. Alrighty guys, so here is the 2018 Safari LTD Hyena Don Gigas. And yes, it was confirmed that this particular figure is based off of the largest known species of Hyena Don, which is Hyena Don Gigas, of course. And this figure just has a really nice presence to it. It's substantially larger than uh, I expected it to be initially. But it just looks like a nasty mammal that you would not want to meet in a dark alleyway at night. So why don't we zoom in and take a closer look at the details on this Hyena Don figure. Alright, so starting off with the fur, the fur detail is really nice on this figure, but it doesn't pop quite as nicely as on Safari LTD's uh, American Mastodon from this year, 2018, and the Woolly Rhino that's coming out next year. I still think those have the uh, best sculpted detail for fur on their mammal figures so far, but this is still really nicely done. It looks naturalistic, it definitely fits with the figure, and it fits with the rest of the mammals that they've done so far. I feel like they could have just done another wash over the fur with some darker color, maybe a dark brown or something, and then maybe done some dry brushing over it just to bring out the detail a little bit more. But it's still visible enough to where you can appreciate the great sculpt work that's gone into it. You can see the fur has a really nice flow to it down the body, and I really like these stripes, these markings on the body. Uh, I think they add a lot. You can see that there's some on the front leg there, and then there's some on the back, starting just before the hips and going all the way down the tail, and then of course there's some on the top of the back legs as well. Uh, and then of course there's a stripe on the uh, right underneath the ear, behind the eye on the face. I think those add a lot to the overall look of the animal. And there's a look at the underbelly as well. Very nicely detailed. The fur detail is very similar to the rest of the body. And while we're down here, look at this attention to detail. Safari LTD, and I just noticed this the other day for the first time, but Safari LTD even included paw pads on the bottom of each of the feet. How cool is that? This is a surface you're not going to see normally uh, when you have this figure on display, but they've included paw pads on it. So they're really dedicated to making these figures uh, as accurate and as detailed as possible. And I think that's just great. And that really just seals the deal that this is a really well-made figurine. The feet are done very nicely overall as well. They're just all done in black because the markings on this animal give it these black socks, I guess you can call it, for lack of a better word. But I think that looks really nice, very naturalistic and very believable for a mammal. Also look at this long tail, that's sculpted very nicely, and I had no idea until I got this figure that Hyena Don had such a long tail. It reminds me of a rat's tail for some reason. Not really sure why, because rat tails don't have any fur on them, but... Uh, maybe it's just the shaping, the pose of it, 
I'm not sure. It just reminds me of a rat tail. <laughs> and I also really like this little patch of fur that's sticking up on the uh, above this hyenid on shoulders here. You can tell this animal is snarling. It's very angry at something. And whenever animals like dogs or cats feel threatened, the hair sticks up on their back. So I think that's a great little addition and it really adds to the aggressive look of this figure. And here's a closer look at that gorgeous head sculpt. Very, very menacing. You can see how Safari has captured perfectly just how massive the head of this animal was and just how powerful the jaws were. But I will say that while the head sculpt is so nicely done, it does have the biggest weakness of this figure in my opinion, and those are the teeth. I feel like the teeth are very large and chunky, and the paint job around the teeth just isn't very neat. You can see that there's a lot of the bleeding of the cream color of the teeth uh, up onto the lips. And when you look at it straight on here, you can see it's not even on that front set of teeth, for example. And even on this side, you can see it's bleeding up onto the lips there and on the bottom jaw as well. I just feel like the bleeding of the paint around the jaws makes the uh, face look a little bit cartoony and maybe the teeth could have been sized down a little bit I'm not exactly sure how large the teeth were on hyena Don. I'll have to take a look at the um, The skulls of some of the animals anyway the interior of the mouth is very nicely sculpted you can see the roof has uh, Been sculpted and even the tongue there very nicely done all sculpted and painted in a fleshy pink color, and I really like the glossy finish on it. It really looks like this animal's mouth is wet with saliva. I also really like the eyes. Those are done in a dark orangey brown color, and those have a glossy finish over them as well. The nostrils are beautifully sculpted as well. A very dog-like nose. I really like that. And then, of course, the ears are also beautifully sculpted, and it looks like there's a lot of depth in them, but... It's just sort of an illusion with the way they were sculpted uh, and the paint job that's inside of it. The shadows cast by the other parts of the ear give the illusion that it goes on into the skull, but I think that's very, very nicely done. All right, for the colors on this figure, I think the color scheme is very nice and naturalistic. It's sort of a more typical color scheme for a hyena Don. Uh, whenever I've seen one, they usually have more of these brown or reddish brown colors with white or black stripes on them, at least from what I've seen. But I think it works out really well. It looks like a real animal. The main part of the body is done in this brown color, and then the underbelly has the white, of course. Then we have the black socks, the black muzzle, and then, of course, the black stripes going down the body. And I think it's a really solid color scheme. And for the pose on this figure, I really like what they were going for with this pose, and I think it works out overall. You can this you can see this hyena don just stalking around with almost a rabid look in its face. Like I can almost see this thing foaming at the mouth. It looks so aggressive. But I love the sort of hunchbacked look with the head pointing down and it's snarling and baring its teeth and uh, pulling its lips back and everything to show those menacing jaws. But I do have to say, it does look stiff in some areas. Uh, a couple of the limbs look particularly stiff. Like from this side, I'm not really fond of the uh, look of the pose from over here. I think this limb looks a little stiff. Uh, but from over here, I really like it. I really like what they were going for. It has a really nice weight to it. But yeah, I think what they were going for overall, they captured very well. All right, so why don't we give this hyena Don a quick measure. So Marvin, why don't you bring out the ruler? Thank you, Marvin. All right, we've got our trusty flexi ruler now, so let's give this hyena Don a measure. So in terms of length from the tip of the snout to the tip of the tail, we are looking at about six and a half inches. Whoops, dropped the ruler there. And in terms of centimeters, we are looking at about 16 and a half centimeters. And in terms of the height at the highest point, which is the top of the shoulder there, we are looking at about three inches, which is about seven and a half, eight centimeters. For comparison, here is the 2018 Safari LTD Hyena Don next to the Safari LTD 2018 Deodon. Uh, one of my favorite figures from Safari LTD for this year. I just think it's a very bold reconstruction and coloration of the Deodon and it looks incredibly naturalistic. And I just think these two figures look really nice next to each other as two top Cenozoic Predators. And then I thought I'd bring out my favorite Safari LTD prehistoric mammal to date, which is their yet-to-be-released 2018 
2019, not 2018, sorry, oh dear, 2019 Safari LTD, Wooly Rhino or Celadonta. And you can see what I mean, how the fur detail just really pops on this figure in comparison to these two. But I think these all look really nice next to each other. And I really like how the style of the fur is different amongst all of the mammals from Safari. And for my overall rating, guys, I think this Hyenodon deserves four stars out of five, an epic rating. I think I have to say this is my third favorite mammal that Safari LTD has released for 2018, my second being the Deodon and my first being the gorgeous American Mastodon. This figure doesn't have anything major wrong with it, as with most of the more recent figures from Safari LTD, but I will say that the pose looks a little bit stiff in some areas and the fur detail could have maybe used a wash over it with a little bit of a darker color or something or even a lighter color and some more dry brushing and another shade of brown or something just to bring it out a bit more because I feel like it doesn't stick out quite as much as it could have, but that could just be me. But the biggest problem with this figure I have to say are the large uh, cartoony looking teeth. Maybe those could have been sized down a little bit. Maybe it could have been sculpted a tiny bit differently. Uh, and of course the this kind of sloppy paint job around the jaws with the teeth. I am, it's unfortunate that the cream color for the teeth there is bleeding onto the lips of the animal and such. But overall, really solid figure. I think it's worth the price. And yeah, I think Safari did a great job reconstructing the Hyenodon. Well, there we go, guys. That was today's look at the 2018 Safari LTD Hyenodon Gigas. I think this figure is very well done, and if you're a fan of prehistoric mammals, especially apex carnivores like the Hyenodon, make sure you go pick this one up. It would be a great addition to your collection. So if you guys want to get this one for yourself, you can go to amazon.com slash safariltd or www.safariltd.com and use the coupon code SPINODUDE, that's S-P-I-N-O-D-U-D-E, -D -E, to get 10% off your next order. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Also, leave a comment telling me what you think of this Hyena Don figure. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care and bye-bye.